perfect.
so he's got his notes right here.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession, remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation. Good morning. Please join me for the invocation. Our Father God, we gather today in an atmosphere of excitement, celebration, pride, and success. We rejoice today with these 41 soon-to-be VMI graduates and their families. Today a dream comes true, a goal is accomplished, a milestone surpassed. The ring on their finger, the diploma in their hand will forever symbolize the work, sacrifice, sweat, and tears, the bonds and memories they, that have comprised their VMI experience. But today they begin a new journey, a new race. Lord, let them run the race with endurance. 
May they pursue excellence, exemplify servant leadership, and may they always stand firmly on the principles of truth, faith, honor, and integrity. Grant them success, guard their course, protect their way. May they discern the things that are right and just and fair. May your wisdom enter their hearts and your knowledge be pleasant to their souls. May they have discretion that protects them and understanding that guides and guards them. Grant that they might be bold and confident in their endeavors. Allow them to attain the potential that you have designed for each and every one of them. But above all else, give them a faith in you that will never fail. We pray this all in your holy name. Amen. Please take your seats. What a beautiful, brisk day. Welcome to Lexington. Welcome to VMI. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the December 2016 commencement exercises of the Virginia Military Institute. Joining me on the stage today are VMI Superintendent General J.H. Binford P. III, VMI Class of 1962. VMI's Deputy Superintendent for Finance, Administration, and Support, Rear Admiral Charles Chuck Smith, VMI Class of 1979. VMI's Registrar, Colonel Janet Battaglia. VMI's Chaplain, Colonel Robert Bob Phillips, Sr., VMI Class of 1987. And our commencement speaker, Brigadier General Robert Bob Green, VMI Class of 1967. Well, good morning. The Institute is proud of your accomplishments and offers warmest congratulations, particularly knowing that you took a harder path than most college students do today. From here, you go forth, carrying the ideals of VMI, and I'm confident that you will make your mark in society, contributing to your community and our nation. Wear your ring. Display your diploma. Stay in touch with your brother rats and also with us at VMI. And return as often as you are able. Our very, very best wishes in the years ahead to you. I now have the great pleasure of introducing your speaker for this occasion, Brigadier General Robert L. Green, VMI Class of 1967. Like you, this is General Green's last official act at VMI as he is about to retire upon completing 19 years of superb service at the Institute, culminating as the Deputy Superintendent for Finance, Administration, and Support. If you include his four years as a cadet, however, as well as one year as an assistant instructor in the VMI Department of Civil Engineering from 1967 to 1968, one year as a visiting professor of civil engineering from 1987 to 1988, a year as the acting director of cadet affairs in 1997, and as adjunct professor of civil and environmental engineering from 1998 to 2002, he has literally devoted over a quarter of a century of his life to VMI. Bob, as he is known to all of us, graduated from Churchland High in Portsmouth, Virginia, and came to VMI where he played football. He majored in civil engineering and at graduation was designated a distinguished military graduate and commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Army in the Corps of Engineers. He served in Vietnam with the famous 1st Infantry Division in an engineer battalion where he was awarded the Bronze Star with Oak Leaf Cluster and the Army Commendation Medal. And after military service, he earned a master's degree in engineering from the University of Virginia in 1972. And as his engineering career advanced, he joined the consulting and engineering firm of Wiley and Wilson of Lynchburg, Virginia, where he spent 24 years, the last 10 years there, as its president and part owner of the company. From there, he came to VMI, where he's had the responsibility for many diversified functions and offices included such things as treasurer, 
auxiliary services, comptroller, institute planning, physical plant, human resources, purchasing, the infirmary, cadet counseling, police, government relations, museum operations, construction, and post engineer. Today's occasion also gives us an opportunity to thank and congratulate Bob's wife, Carol. She and Bob have known each other since the third grade. She was his ring figure date at VMI, and they were married when he graduated in 1967. Carol served the Institute during the initial three years that women began attending VMI, establishing visionary programs that really led to the very successful assimilation of women. She then went on to serve a very, as a very popular Vice President for the Alumni Activities and Director of Moody Hall. The Institute has been very fortunate indeed to have these two talented and very dedicated individuals as leaders and members of our community. Gratitude for their service was expressed recently by the Institute and their friends and classmates through the occasion and the creation of the Carroll and Robert Green Scholarship. Please welcome Brigadier General Robert Green for his final remarks while in uniform. Bob's been a wonderful VMI graduate, a great soldier, and American. Bob Green. Sir, uh, thank you for that, uh, that wonderful introduction. Um, you know, we have uh, the leadership here gathered on the stage, but uh, I think two we should single out. One is uh, Colonel Battaglia, our registrar. She's the one that keeps all the numbers straight. She keeps your hours and your GPAs, and so she's a, a big player in, uh, in this day to day and get, uh, getting everyone to this uh, great ceremony. The other is our chaplain, Bob Phillips, because I would venture that over the cadetships has been quite a few prayers rendered either by the cadets or their families, and so uh, that's always helpful. Let me congratulate our cadets, uh, our friends of cadets, uh, the faculty members, many of whom gathered here today, our coaches, our parents, our grandparents, extended families, uh, roommates, dykes, and especially our graduates-to-be. Uh, General P has already mentioned Carol. Um, you know, Carol uh, was at the Alumni Association for a number of years, and while she was active in that role, most people on post knew me as Carol Green's husband, which is not a bad, uh, not a bad title to, to, uh, to add to, uh, to my official title. Upon retirement, she also received a resolution from the Board of Visitors recognizing her years of service to the Institute uh, and to our Alumni Association. She received special recognition from my class where she was designated a brother rat. I think we're all familiar with sister rats, but not a brother rat, so being married to a brother rat is uh, an interesting dynamic. This has been a wonderful fall. Uh, in October, uh, the superintendent uh, honored me with a retirement parade. Uh, we received, I received the Meritorious Service Medal, and over 100 of my classmates and their spouses attended that, that retirement. Uh, that night, there was a dinner, and General P has already mentioned this scholarship, and General Jumper, our Board of Visitors uh, head, and General P presented us with this scholarship, a total, complete surprise. I don't know how so many people kept that a secret, but it was a great and wonderful surprise. Earlier this month, many of the folks that I work with in finance administration support had a small reception in our honor, and that was a great event. And here we are today, providing remarks at this capstone event in the lives of the cadets as they graduate and become VMI alumni. And looking over the roster, almost all of our academic majors are represented. There are minors and concentrations, classes from 2015, of course 2016, 17, and even 18 are represented, and 12 states are represented. I was honored back in uh, 2003 to provide remarks at December graduation, uh, but let me tell you, this is my favorite in institute event, when you, but when you think about matriculation, you think about Founders Day, ring figure, and of course May with commissioning, and graduation and new market ceremonies, 
uh, it is uh, really a special occasion. You know, we, we know there are many good colleges in this country, but there are not very many great colleges. VMI's reputation is that of a great college. We have great academics under the leadership of our dean, Brigadier General Jeff Smith. VMI has great ROTC programs, Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, and all of our professors of military science are gathered here today. Colonel Coggins, Colonel Warzniak, and Webb. VMI also has cadets that demonstrate great sportsmanship and win the VMI way. And under our athletic director, Dr. Dave Dow's leadership, our NCAA athletes continue to receive awards for that great sportsmanship. We also have great alumni. They provide great service in their communities to the state and to the nation and to the institute. I saw Brian Crockett earlier. Brian is retiring in December. Brian heads up the VMI Foundation. And under his leadership, the foundation has just recently announced that the campaign, which will go into next year, has already raised over $300 million. VMI's vision statement is the inscription on the parapet. All new cadets memorize it, and all, all the members of the Corps see it as they pass through Memorial Gardens. And it, it reads, the healthy and pleasant abode of a crowd of honorable use, pressing up the hill of science with noble emulation, a gratifying spectacle, an honor to our country and our state, objects of honest pride to their instructors and fair specimens of citizen soldiers, attached to their native state, proud of her fame, and ready in every time of deepest peril to vindicate her honor or defend her rights Colonel James J.T.L. Preston. Colonel Preston's vision for VMI in 1839 continues to this day in those words, a crowd of honorable use, an honor to our country and citizen soldiers. VMI's mission states that it's the mission of those at VMI to develop, educate honorable men and women prepared for the very work of civil life, imbued with the love of learning, confident in the functions and attitudes of leadership, possessing a high sense of public service, advocates of the American democracy and free enterprise system, and ready as, as citizen soldiers to defend their country in time of national peril. The mission statement includes those words, educated, honorable men and women, leadership, public service, and citizen soldiers. VMI's academics are rigorous. I'm sure that our cadets here today would agree with that. And we have great teachers. We have great coaches, administrators, mentors, and yes, a great commandant staff under the leadership of Colonel Bill Wanovich. I'm sure most of our cadets today have spent some time in character development sessions with Colonel Levinson, or the Commandant, receiving demerits, penalty tours, weeks of confinement. I had several of those counseling sessions when I was a cadet. We will, that's for a later time. Let me talk to you about our heritage, all of our heritage that we, we have inherited, something acquired from our predecessors. Our cadets are surrounded by images and required activities that provide reminders of this VMI heritage. The mural behind me depicts the cadet charge at the Battle of Newmarket. The mural artist was Benjamin West Kleindienst, VMI class of 1880. The charge of the Newmarket cadets mural was the largest military mural at the time of its painting in 1914. The new cadet oath ceremony at Newmarket is attended by many parents and friends. Colonel Keith Gibson, our museum director, and Lieutenant Colonel Troy Marshall do a great job supporting that event and many other activities at our new market facilities. The Cadet Oath, which 
is very, very similar to the pledge that comes from mid 18th century. And it states, I hereby engage to serve as a cadet in the Virginia Military Institute for the term for which I have entered. I promise on my honor, while I continue a member thereof, to obey all legal orders of the constituted authorities of the Institute and to dis discharge all of my duties as a cadet with regularity and fidelity. I will never lie, cheat, steal, nor tolerate those who do. And I solemnly pledge to keep the, this covenant with all members of the Corps, so help me God. As our cadets pass through Washington Arch, they see a statue of George Washington, hero of the American Revolution, first president of the United States and a Virginian. 1775, Washington was quoted as saying, when we assumed the, the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. When we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. The citizen soldier continues today as a part of VMI's vision and mission statements. Marshall Arch and the statue of General George Catlett Marshall, General of the Army, Secretary of State, Nobel Prize recipient, author of the Marshall Plan for European Recovery, VMI class of 1901, and VMI's most famous alumnus. He's credited with a couple of quotes, one being, when a thing is done, it's done. Don't look back, look forward. Look forward to the next objective. I'm sure these cadets are looking forward to their next objective. Marshall was also credited with another saying, <clears throat> it's amazing what you can accomplish if you don't worry about who gets the credit. It's amazing what you can accomplish if you don't give, if you don't worry about who gets the credit. <clears throat> and of course, cadets entering Jackson Arch see the famous quote, you may be whatever you resolve to be. <clears throat> These cadets have gathered here today have resolved to graduate from VMI. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cadets often travel through Daniel's Arch and Daniel's Courtyard. Jonathan Daniels, VMI class of 1961, was honored by the Episcopal Church with the designation of modern martyr. Only one, only two Americans have received that recognition, the other being Dr. Martin Luther King. Daniels was selected by his classmates as a valedictorian. He is still remembered by many for his valedictory speech in Cock Hall, during which he stated, I wish for you the decency for which you are capable. I wish for you the decency for which you are capable. We might not ever know, but Assuming this decency term, he meant praiseworthy qualities as members of society, honor, and civility. Cadets passed by the statue of Virginia Morning or Dead in front of Nichols Engineering Hall as they traveled to Preston Library, Mallory Hall, Maury Brook Hall. The statue sculptor, sculptor was Sir Moses Ezekiel, VMI class of 1866. Ezekiel was a noted 19th century Jewish sculptor. Moses was a Newmarket cadet. He was knighted by the King of Italy, Victor Emmanuel III, and several other he heads of state, including Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany. Ezekiel is remembered for caring for his classmate, Thomas Garland Jefferson, as Jefferson lay dying after the Battle of Newmarket, a memorable scene from the recent movie Feel the lost shoes. Ezekiel requested this simple inscription on his gravestone. Moses J. Ezekiel, Sergeant of Company C, Battalion of Cadets of the Virginia Military Institute. Sir Moses Ezekiel is buried in Arlington Cemetery at the base of his 30-foot high bronze sculpture entitled The New South. Cadets gather in Marshall Hall, Center for Leadership and Ethics, for seminars, conferences, training, theater performances, 
conversations with leaders in residence and social functions. Colonel Dave Gray and his team are doing a great job adhering to their mission. The center's mission is to advance the understanding, guidance, and, in, and integration of leadership and character development at the Institute, and to share insights gleaned from VMI's programs with a broader national audience. The center enhances VMI's system of leadership training by offering cadet programming focused on leadership, ethics, and character development, and a robust schedule of conferences and challenging topics of national and international interest. The center's website says that the center provides programs that focus on realizing the full potential of leadership and character development experiences available to our Corps of Cadets at the Institute. Again, another great reminder of our heritage, leadership, ethics, and character. Our cadets' days are filled with breakfast roll calls and supper roll calls. The flags of the United States and of Virginia are raised and lowered as the Corps stands at attention and salutes. Cadets during their review parades pay honors to the nation as the United States flag, the Virginia flag, and VMI's new market flag are brought forward. Each class has its own distinctive ring worn by cadets and alumni and pride in their accomplishments and in the institution. My class uses that design on baseball caps, polo shirts, windbreakers, uh, whenever we come back for reunions. In a very few moments, you'll get your diplomas. These cadets uh, are, will have diplomas that are signed by the governor, the president of board of visitors, and General P, the superintendent. Each cadet diploma is a tangible me evidence piece of evidence that a, of this accomplishment, and many will be prominently displayed in homes and offices. When you become alumni, these are some thoughts that the VMI alumni agencies pass on. The VMI family, it's a term often encountered when dealing with the Virginia Military Institute. It is an expression that embraces not only the Institute's cadets and alumni, but also those who admire and support VMI and its historic mission, its parents, its friends, its faculty, and its staff, all of those gathered here today. It is the task of the three alumni agencies, the Alumni Association, the Foundation, and the Akita Club, to engage the energy, enthusiasm, and generosity of VMI's alumni, parents, and friends in order to strengthen their bond to the Institute and develop the support that VMI needs to advance every aspect of its singular mode of education and thus maintain its extraordinary position in the landscape of American higher education. Former Virginia Governor Mills Godwin, Jr. is quoted as saying, there is no firmer bond than that which holds graduates of VMI together. There is no firmer bond than that which holds the graduates of VMI together. The VMI coat of arms or crest that we wear on our uniforms, faculty and cadets. It's displayed in several buildings across the post and was authorized by the Institute of Heraldry in 1961. The basic elements of the crest are the traditional red, white, yellow color. The crest became <clears throat> in general use in 1962. The Commandant was Lieutenant Colonel J.G. Smith, General P's Commandant, and the father of our Dean, Brigadier General Jeff Smith, Jr. The crest shield, made up of a red cross on a silver field, is from the coat of arms of Colonial Virginia. The motto means by wisdom and courage. The sword symbolizes our military mission. The lamp represents academic, academics and our principal mission of the Institute. And the black canton in the upper left with its broken chevron represents honor and commemorates the charge of the Newmarket cadets. For my final thought, talk a little bit about 
your moral compass as you leave VMI. I know that these cadets, soon to be graduates, are very familiar with what I'm about to say. They've lived it throughout their cadetships. However, I do feel that is important for them and their families to hear it as they leave the Institute. I know they will use it as their moral compass throughout their lives. The heart of VMI's student government is the honor system. Although honor, like many idealistic concepts, defines exact definition, it clearly refers to relationships with governed society and which yield to that society and its members immediate and tangible benefits. The honor system at VMI is not so much a set of rules, although rules are published and distributed to every cadet, as it is a way of living. Lying, cheating, stealing, or tolerating those who do are considered violations of the honor code. A cadet's statement in any controversy is accepted without question as truthful. Examinations are not proctored. The word certified on a paper <clears throat> means that the work is the cadet's own and the cadet has neither given nor received help. The Corps as a whole has always been the guardian of its own honor and its honor is its most cherished possession. Honor is its most cherished possession. General P, I want to thank you for this opportunity to serve VMI and more importantly to count you and Pamela as our friends. We thank everyone for this opportunity. It's truly an honor and a pleasure for me and for Carol to be with you today, my favorite event at the Institute. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? The Academic Board has presented to the Board of Visitors all candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree and all candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, all of whom have been certified to have completed the requirements for graduation from the Virginia Military Institute. By the authority of law vested in the vested in the Board of Visitors and Faculty, I confer upon each of you a diploma and testimony of your being a graduate of the Virginia Military Institute and award you the bachelor's degree appropriate to your major field of study. Please be seated and come forward as your name is called. General Smith, will you please read the names of the graduates? Distinguished graduates with Institute honors, Richard Christopher Dow, with distinction, concentration in military history, minor in international studies, second lieutenant, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in applied mathematics, Bradley Chandre Lipscomb, Bachelor of Science degree in Biology, Bradley Alexandra Hahn. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering, Jack Carroll Garvin with distinction. <laughs> Damien Terrell Jones. Zane Isaac Mitra. Jonathan Allen Smith, Jr. Ian Patrick Westbrook. Caroline Maureen Whitlock.
Nathaniel Andrew Whitmer. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Computer and Information Sciences. Zachary Keith Carter with distinction, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. John L. D'Antonio. Sean Andrew Helmke, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Jin S. Lee. Patrick John Spawn. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. John Edward Bowles, Second Lieutenant, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Grant E. LaRock with distinction, concentration in nuclear engineering, minor in mathematics, Second Lieutenant, United States Marine Corps. John Anthony Martin, minor in mathematics, second lieutenant, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in physics, Scott Aaron Cox, minor in mathematics. <laughs> the Bachelor of Arts degree in biology, Joel Thomas Hoisington, minor in exercise science. <laughs> Daniel Paul Warner, concentration in ecology, conservation, and organismal science. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in economics and business. Emily Ruth Dawson, Concentration in Global Management, Concentration in Financial Management. <laughs> Taylor Kirk Edens. <laughs> Brian Matthew Hott. Benjamin U.G. the fourth. <laughs> Alex Gerard James. <laughs> Samuel Charles Patterson. <laughs> Lamaris Jerome Reed. Shelby Lynn Smith. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in English. Alexander Matthew Keyes. Concentration in rhetoric and writing. Concentration on art history and visual culture. Concentration in literary studies. Ian Berkeley Roseboro, concentrations in rhetoric and writing, concentration in literary studies. <laughs> the Bachelor of Arts degree in history, Andrew Richard Applegate. <laughs> Zachary Spencer Dunlevy. Chandler Weslin Easter. Avery Hunter Martin. The Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies. William Jacob Carricker, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Anthony Chun McAtee. <laughs> Ms.
Jordan Tyler Monti. Mark Anthony Nitko. The Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology, Ryan Robert Dowdell, with distinction. And with a minor in Exercise Science. Margaret Julia Faust. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 December graduates of the Virginia Military Institute. That took a while, but you guys did it. <laughs> now this concludes one of the best days of your lives. All graduates, their families and guests are invited to join us now for a reception in Moody Hall, and Moody Hall now belongs to you. Good job. Yeah.